Welcome to my new studio space. Okay, this is just a short little update of what's been going on and why I haven't really posted anything in during the summer. A lot has happened since I last saw you. <laughs> Me and my whole family has been moving from a half big city to a very small town where I grew up. Yeah, it's been a lot of work and a lot of like life things happening, but I also been moving into a studio space and this is where I am right now. And as you probably can hear, we're not done. This is, it's echoing like hell and <laughs> it's not done, but I will work on some better audio and I will get some acoustic panels up. So it feels so good to be, be able to go to this studio and produce videos. I have everything in here that I need to create videos. Before I had my studio in my apartment where I had my family and my son is running around and toys everywhere and stuff and I couldn't really do anything. It was so stressful. So it's finally very, very nice to be here. So when I first moved in here like one month ago, everything was all white and it was like a chiropody, I think it's called, like a saloon for that. You have to do quite a lot to make it look like a studio space so i'm i'm really really happy how it turned out with the the green walls and stuff so i've been visiting a lot of like second hand shops to really find like old things that would fit into to the studio space because i i want the feeling of like i'm sitting in a cabin or some kind of old place i bought this painting as well as that one to, to get this feeling and i will continue to do so to really fill this place up with warmth and like the old feeling but i hope you're still there so if you uh, clicked on this video you probably care a bit so i i appreciate you so it kind of feels like a new chapter has begun so if there's something you want me to cover in an upcoming video tell me in the comments and uh, i will read everything and try to plan out and see what you guys really enjoy and what you want to see. I'm really excited for the fall and the darkness and I will be out looking for northern lights and I will try some astrophotography actually in a month and I will of course do a video about it and I will also make a lot of like editing tutorials and stuff because I really enjoy making them because but I haven't really been able to before. So that is what I'm really excited about. One week ago I found this place which is very close to my studio. It's a skogsudunge, as we say in Swedish. <laughs> and I think this could be a potential very good place for a bird feeding station this winter. So I've put up this bird feeder right here, as well as another one. And that is simply to kind of see if there's any birds in the area. I think it is, <laughs> and I, I know what that it is, because there's a lot of houses close to this place and I've seen a lot of birds here um, and I think it's I know it's a bit early to start feeding them like usually people do it in the winter and that's what I'm going to do as well I'm just trying to see if there's any activity here and it is so I think this is a very good place but there's something else that I have had in mind for this place that makes it even better and this place this whole kind of forest is I don't know if you can call it forest. Please kindly help me with this. What is the difference between a woods and a forest? I have no idea. I say forest to everything, but maybe this is the woods. I don't know. But this forest is located on a hill. And what is good about it is that there's a very large distance between the, this hill and the forest you see on the other side. And I don't think you can see that. And in the winter, when all the leaves are gone, you will probably have a very long sight in either direction here. And the sun is going up here and it's getting down there in like January. I can have sunrise photos like backlit all the way through the sunset and have backlit photos there in another direction. And, and the good thing about this place is that it's very close to like activity from humans and people living near this place. So the birds are probably pretty used to, to human activity. So as you can see here, <laughs> they don't really care at all. So placing a hide here in the winter when this place is known to the birds, I'm really, really excited for it. There's a nuthatch. Oh, he's sitting so good. 
beautifully on that stick right there on this little one and i didn't bring my long lens but i'm really glad to see there's a lot of activity here which is really really good during winter especially here in sweden it's very very dark outside for most of the day a lot of people including me are fighting with depression over the winters and uh, that is actually a, a very big thing here in Sweden people are depressed especially in the winter months and uh, I personally feel like having projects to to work with and uh, having something to to work on that is nature related can really help with that can really bright up the, the dark days during the winter so um, that's why I'm kind of I want to have some kind of project and this is one of them. So uh, you're coming with me on this. I'm really excited to try out different lenses on this spot and sitting in a hide and maybe using a wide angle to capture bird photos and stuff. I think the winter is gonna be exciting. I guess I'll see you in the next video. So uh, have a good one. Bye.